Hello and welcome to Forex.academy, the number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be looking at trading price momentum. One of the biggest keys to understanding how trading in the Forex market works is to know how momentum affects price action. Traders need to gauge the market extremely carefully as price action can turn in direction in a split second based on momentum occurrence such as economic data releases, market rumors and economic news commentary. It is essential that traders have contingency plans in place in the event of huge momentum moves. This could be by implementing stop losses, limit orders, hedging strategies, but most importantly being aware of market conditions and potential events that may cause huge liquidity and momentum shifts in price action. Causes of trading price momentum are such things as government elections, war, OPEC meetings, and announcements pertaining to oil price, commodity forecasts, government policy, exchange rate pricing, debt defaults, market collapse, the US Federal Reserve, political referendums, and economic data releases. During these events, we will usually find a great deal of speculation due to market sentiment, risk on and risk off events, institutional investments, including position taking and stop loss activity. The big players cause the big moves because of their size and liquidity and they typically include hedge funds, sovereign wealth funds, governments and central banks. When these guys come to market, it is not unusual for them to trade in sizes over 100,000 US dollars per pip. This type of size causes market makers, that's those who provide the bids and offers, to very quickly adjust their liquidity support in the margin which further adds to the momentum. Let's take a look at example A. This is a one hour chart of the USD JPY pair covering the last couple of days. At position 1 we note a huge spike in the pair with the 1 hour candlestick breaching the Bollinger Bands while spiking through an area of resistance caused by the sideways trading of this pair and which reaches across to the left of our chart. Even though the Federal Reserve cut their short term interest rate by 25 basis points the third cut this year which caused this market reaction. One might have thought that the US dollar would have lost ground against the Japanese yen because of a lowering in interest rates which of course is less appealing to investors holding dollars. However, traders took into account the subsequent forward guidance speech given by Federal Reserve Chairman Powell gave no indication that further interest rate cuts were imminent this year. Also, the Federal Reserve governors voted 8-2 in favour of the cut. This shows that there is some conflict with the Federal Reserve regarding the monetary policy. Indeed, the next hourly candlestick shows a pullback in this pair, thus negating the 30 or so pip move to the upside. This spike would have caused many institutions to suffer from a stop loss as price action moved above the key level of 109.00. While traders tried to decipher the implications of the cut and what messages could be gained from Fed Powell's speech. Now let's turn our attention to position 2. We can see a strong bearish candlestick just below position 2, which was the result of news release stating that a Chinese official reported that the long awaited part 1 of the Chinese and US trade agreement may not be signed till next month as per market expectations. The Chinese official also stated that there was a risk that the deal may collapse due to what they said was a divisive attitude to the agreement by President Donald Trump. These are just two examples of how price momentum can cause huge amounts of volume and volatility and whereby in a relatively short time frame we can see a swing in price action over 100 pips. Let's now look at example B. This is a 1 hour chart of the US Dow Jones 30. In position 1 we can see a surge in the price action to the upside after the announcement of the 25 basis points rate cut. This is important because US companies can borrow money more cheaply with lower interest rates. We subsequently see a slight pullback of price action inside the Bollinger Bands and a consolidation to position 2. The bearish candlestick at this point takes out most of the previous day's bull trend as soon as the rumor from the Chinese official that the US-China trade deal could collapse. This upshot from these two events was a 400 point swing in price action. Here at Forex.Academy we always advise traders to be aware of potential momentum moves in price action. This could be achieved by having a good overall market awareness and learning the art of expecting the unexpected. As always, you should have a contingency plan in place in case of such events. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and comment down below if there's anything you'd like us to cover in future, or if you would like to discuss the topics we have covered. Have a great day.